Now, I have seen a lot of junior designers that they struggle with uh, Figma's new uh, auto layout feature. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I actually use it. I'm not going to show you very, very advanced usage of auto layout, but they are really, really helpful when you are designing websites or user interfaces, okay? So I'm going to share with you how you have to change your thinking and how you have to use auto layout to improve your web design or UI design efficiency and save a lot of time. So let's get started and dig into auto layout feature of Figma, okay? So um, let me zoom in a bit. Now let me show you, so like you can see over here, here I have three boxes, okay? So right now these are all three, um, uh, what we call them, components. Okay, so these components, now you can see if I want to space them, first you have to think in rows and columns, okay? So right now what you see is this is a row, okay? So I am going to select uh, shift by all these three. You can see right now they have 45. Now I'm going to press shift A and now you can see auto layout has been applied and the benefit of auto layout is for example this is my frame I am going to name it container and if I want to move this uh, in the start like over here I can instantly do it by just pressing or moving my arrow keys. So I have selected this one the middle one I want to move it on the right that's it. So it's very simple. It's very easy to, you know, um, move things around in a row. So this is an example of a row. Now, if we click on the container, you can see we have this auto layout, horizontal layout. So right now, actually all those were in a row horizontally. So it applied horizontal. So if I want to move them like this, I can use this. Okay. So these are two basic layouts. This one is wrap. Wrap means if I add another item, it is going to wrap around and move in the next row. Okay. So let's try to apply wrap over here and I am going to add another one. Command D. Okay. So for the wrap, you have to use something like this. You have to use fixed width for the container like you can see over here so if I move it a more bigger and if I try to make more so one two three move in the next row so this is the magic of auto layout and uh, this one okay so let's try to remove this and now again we are back into this one let's use this to uh, accurately size it okay so this is a very very nice way I mostly use auto layouts to you know balance the spacing between items uh, to change the layout like aligning things up this is best for aligning things up and spacing out things for me this is a really really handy tool in achieving this okay so let's go to another website again you can see over here here we have three uh, three uh, group of three features or you can say process let's call it process okay again you can see I have applied auto layout to this one um, let's see if we have auto layout or not no okay so let's apply auto layout shift uh, a and this is our container okay so now you can see we have already studied this but what I mostly do is when I have a heading like this one, so you can see there's a frame over here. So heading, subheading, frame, okay? So what I not normally do is because they are related to each other and they are mostly going to go around um, with each other. So what I do is I actually, let's explore this. I actually use heading so let's call it heading and this is the bottom one you can see is subheading or heading line or whatever you can call it. So normally what I do is I normally auto layout both of them because 
I have to control the spacing between them because if I want to have very spacey, very, uh, you know, airy kind of layout, I use 24 or maybe more than that, like 32, something like this. If I have to use a normal, normally I would use 16 or sometimes 12, um, the gap between these two. Now, the benefit is, for example, if I have this now, uh, okay, okay, now getting to the complex part. You can see over here, here I have 62 pixels. So what I do is I have created one row. I have created another, uh, you can see this heading group. Let's ungroup this. And this is the container, let's uh, ungroup this one. So right now I have two auto layouts. One is at the top, one is at the bottom. So there are actually two rows. Now I want to control the spacing between these two major components or two rows, okay? So one is inside uh, items inside the spacing, the spacing inside different items. Then we have bigger and larger items. So if I want to control the spacing between these two, I'm going to select by holding shift these two and shift A. Now you can see I have this spacing. So I can control it like 64, or 56 or whatever. Now you can see uh, how I normally group them, outer container, okay? So now you can see how I actually group them. This is actually outer container. This is actually uh, process steps container, okay? So, one is outer container that is containing this whole section. Then we have the heading container where we have the heading and the subheading. Then we have this at the bottom three steps that is actually a row. So this is how I actually use uh, auto layout and it for me it is really really very very handy tool. Uh, you can see now you can also create more complex layout like this one. You can see this is actually a frame. So um, here you can see I have uh, one frame inside it that is five stars. Then I have this review. Then I have this name, which is actually a group. And now the spacing between all these three, I have been controlling it by this container. So we can call it um, testimonial container. Right now container underscore or dash testimonial okay so this is the frame of stars this is the actual review this is the name uh, okay so here we have the frame around it that is uh, basically a border now another way is I have seen people doing this is if you are really really sure uh, that what what you need to create for example if I have this raw um, let's see what is happening over here let's move this okay so I have this raw container of an auto layout now what I can do is you can see it says container testimonial I am going to use this container and we are going to put a fill around it or we can do one more thing is for example if you want to create um, a card out of it you are going to put a fill around it and even if you don't try to put the fill around it you can use for example I want 24 pixels on right and left and from top and bottom I also need 24 I want it to be something like this if I want more spacing, the top and bottom, and on the left and right, I can use something like that. So spacing around a whole card is also possible. Like you can see over here, I have shown it. You can also put rounded corners to it, like eight pixels. Uh, even if you want to put shadows around it, you can use, uh, sorry, you can add a shadow around it. And let's try to use, 15% blur should be it or let's make it 16 let's make it 
Okay, so you can see, let's zoom in a bit. You can see now this is all made up of an auto layout. So always think in columns, like, like you can see over here, these three items basically is a column. It is not a row, it's not in an horizontal direction, it's a vertical direction. So elements in a vertical direction, they are very easily controlled, they can be easily left aligned with an auto layout. So you can see over here, uh, I have done this. Okay, so for the stars, I wanted to have a specific, uh, specific, now these stars, they are like five stars in a row, they are horizontal. So I created another auto layout inside that container and I have been using, you can see if I want to increase the spacing between the stars, I can do that by simply going over here. So this is how you are going to control everything. Very easy to control. If you have been using auto layouts, this is one of the best tricks. Uh, so always think in, uh, in terms of columns and rows. So a lot of designers I have seen that they do not use this and they just keep on creating different layers, groups around it. And you can see, I can do the same thing over here and I can put a stroke and um, I can remove this. I can use something like one pixel over here. And I think they had a drop shadow, uh, which was yellow. So I'm going to use this drop shadow. It had one blur and let's use two, something like this. So this is very, very close to what I was actually building. You can see over here. So this is what it looks like. So if you want more space on top and bottom, you can easily add that 48. Let's, oops, it's uh, on the sides, 48 like this. So now you can see it is almost closer to this one. You can also use different spacing. Like at the bottom, you can see it's almost uh, 64. So let's use 64 at the bottom and 48 at the top. Okay. You can also go with 72. So you can see now it's almost replicate to whatever I have created over here. So you can achieve all that with just using auto layouts. Uh, and wrapping that auto layout into different things and different columns and rows. So this is how you are going to think. And uh, it is not very complex like, uh, like you can see now the alignment is you can see over here the items if I want to align them. Uh, let's just talk about the alignment too. So you can see this is basically the container. So I'm trying to change the alignment. So normally like this, if you want to have it in the middle, you can do that. If you want to have it on the right, you can do that. Maybe I think mostly if you want to use, you might be using middle or left alignment. So this is at the top left, bottom left. These are very, very easy to understand. But normally uh, what I do is whenever I create something and I want to control the spacing between them, I use auto layouts. They are really handy. Like you can see, uh, here we have 27, let's make it 28. And this is how I use auto layout in whenever I am designing something. Okay. If you have any questions, if you want more explanation about auto layouts or how you can use them uh, in let's, okay. So one more thing is now at the last, if I have completed everything, I have done auto layout, everything is ready. I can just create a component. So once everything is perfect, you are satisfied with everything, just create a component. Now the benefit is that you can still control all the spacing between it. Like you can see if I want to change something at the top, at the bottom, at the left, at the right, I can still do that. This is really, really handy for me. And this is how I use auto layouts. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have uh, enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure you like, subscribe my channel. Uh, and you can also visit my website, learnuxid.com. I offer uh, almost 12 plus or 15 courses about UI and UX design and training uh, 100k plus students around the globe. 
Uh, my name is Mohammed Hassan and uh, I will meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.